Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to a new video. Something different. It's not a vlog. We have a haul. And it's a really random haul, actually. I popped into Primark the other day. I didn't actually plan to. And I got quite a bit of stuff, but it wasn't like enough stuff to do a haul. But then I realized I've actually been buying quite a lot of random stuff recently. And I had a fairly big order come in from Urban Outfitters. I ordered some bits from Space NK. I have something from Zara to show you. So I thought, let me just put it all together and do a what I've bought recently video. Because it's a little bit different and it's just going to be random things that I've decided to go online and order. I haven't actually tried any of this on yet, but I've got it all around me at the moment. And I will insert clips to the side and show you what I think. So kick your feet up, sit back, relax and enjoy. And um, maybe I can inspire some of you to buy some random new things. There's some really random things in here. Like really, really random things in here. And I think I'm actually going to start off with Primark. Also, really random. I'm filming in my bedroom. This is like my... Um, it's like my TV unit, but it's not because it's got loads of clothes in it but this wall is very bare because this is where i shine my projector there's a few bits on there and i'm actually going to start off with this because this little baby is one of the things that i picked up from primark home how freaking cute is this it's probably a little bit smaller than i would want well I'm not mad at it actually. I think it looks quite cute though. Do you think there's a lot on here? I guess normally I'm obviously not sat here, so it is nice and bare. And like I said, I have my projector on that wall, so I can't have too much going on. But I saw this and I thought, wow, talk about match my aesthetic. I'm obsessed. It took me a while to figure out what it is too. If you like put it upside down, I feel like it looks a bit like a heart with all the like <laughs> veins and you know, do you know what it means? Anyone get that vibe? But it's a lady's shoulders with her hands underneath her chin, I think. But I think it's so cute. I kind of like that you can't really tell what it is. It's on just like a painted canvas, maybe piece of wood. And then it's got a wooden frame. And this was £4. I feel like that is such a steal. And it has a little hook. So I guess you could buy it. Well, I'd say you could buy a couple and kind of do like a, you know, the vibe where you've got loads of art on the wall. However... They're all the same, unless there's more in a bigger Primark. I went to quite a small Primark, and I actually had quite a successful shop, so probably could have got more in a bigger store. But that is my first thing. I absolutely love Primark Home. I feel like, if anything, I'd probably more likely spend money in Primark Home section than anywhere else. Also, if I sound a tiny bit quieter than normal, Cass is actually asleep in the other room. And as much as it's the middle of the day, I've got things to do, don't really care. I also feel a little bit bad because he's going to work in a couple of hours so if i'm a tiny bit quiet well i feel like i'm not being that quiet the doors are shut but yeah you know the show must go on i've got to show you guys what i bought i wasn't joking when i told you this haul is very random i'm literally just going to show you everything i got because i find I think hauls like this very interesting now if you don't buy your knickers from primark you're missing out they're so cheap three pound and i love them i just i really do love them i had this thing where i kind of clear out my underwear drawer and kind of replenish it every year or so so as much as i love a victoria's secret lounge kind of thing primark you cannot go wrong they're super soft as well i think i've got another set in one of these bags but i like the little lacy ones home again this is really cute this is five pound and it's just a candle which i've actually fallen out of love slightly with candles recently because i've realized how I know you're supposed to trim candles, so don't come for me, but I've got a lot of white in my home, like white curtains and white bedding, and I have noticed the smoky kind of effect slash residue kind of thing that is left. So I'm more using candles as a bit of an aesthetic as opposed to a burning smelling situation. Other than trimming the wicks, I don't know how to avoid that. But let me know if any of you guys have had this problem too. Like, my beautiful white curtains look so grubby. They need a wash. And they've not even been up that long. 
But anyway, I absolutely love this candle and it's not stopped me from buying candles. I like the little speckle kind of effect on this and I like the shape of this. It will look really cute on the side here maybe or in my lounge I've got shelving units so I love this. I also would love this in like a really giant effect. They had a nice big wick candle with like eight wicks which I was going to get but I really couldn't be bothered to carry it. It was so heavy so I just picked up this little guy for now. I have a problem with buying hairbands and clips every time I go into a shop. I feel like these clips are so 90s and cute. I normally have the little grips that you can't see, but I thought it was cute to get some ones that you can put on show and hairbands because I lose every hairband. And then last thing in this bag, I got two candle wicks. Literally just twisted candles. I like to chop and change my candles. In autumn, I had these like orangey kind of ones, so I thought I'd get some fresh white ones, and these were £1.50. I think it has to set an alarm to wake up. Primark have got some summery bits going on, so if you are going away soon, I definitely recommend going into Primark. They've got quite a few bikinis. I saw some really nice like platform, chunky, flip-flop style sandals, and actually someone I know works in Primark, and I saw him, and I was like, do you know if they have my size and they didn't but he said to come back on Wednesdays because apparently they restock on Wednesdays but I got some linen I think these are linen they're like a crinkle kind of organic cotton there we go trouser they're like a wide leg and I just thought these would be great for holiday and these are the type of trousers that I will wear in and out each summer and I think these will look so cute wherever they're dressed up a little bit for dinner with like a bandeau kind of top or literally to throw on at the beach with a bikini. These also come in black as well but I much prefer the look of the white ones for some reason. I feel like these look like they could be in the white company or Zara. They're really good quality and they're quite affordable. They are £10 and I got these in a size small. So very happy with them and I'm sure there's a clip of me right here trying them on. Another hair clip. This was cute. This caught my eye because it's bright pink. There's a lot of pink stuff in Primark at the moment as well. Next up, good old lint roller. I like Primark's lint rollers actually. I feel like they are quite sturdy, she says, whilst buying another one. I've got a white sofa, so I always have to get new lint rollers. Here's the next pair of underwear I got. I've noticed they've got like a new kind of section in the underwear part of Primark, which is called Love to Lounge. They've got a lot of like triangle bras with that kind of label on. I'll show you here. It's kind of cute. It's like a little maybe underwear spin-off brand within Primark. But the stuff looks really, really nice. I only picked up these. I quite like the colour. I thought they were very spring vibes. And I really like this like boomerang style where it goes like a V. I think it's really flattering. So I've got a pack of them. Whenever I'm in Primark home, I try and find this fresh linen room spray. I literally get through so many of these. When I've done a clean, and well, to be honest, I spray it all the time, but I love cleaning and then spraying this. It just feels so good. And if I know people are coming around, I'll just like run around like. And sometimes these are really hard to get hold of, but I found one, I'm very excited about that. Next up, this is random. I guess this kind of falls into home. This is a large set of beauty drawers and these are stackable. They had quite a few options in there, but I didn't know whilst I was in there where I would put this, but I knew that I wanted to see if I could put it somewhere. I think, I've still not actually looked, but I think this is gonna go on my dressing table by my window. And I have this thing where I have my makeup bag and I just tip it and look for everything and just kind of lay it all out and then if I'm in a rush I just leave it so singing clear drawers sounds like it makes sense really nice size I actually took out the cellophane but there's two sets of drawers here there was another one that had two long narrow drawers and the way the plastic is made they are made to stack so you could literally have as many as you want this is like my 13 year old dream doing this kind of like youtube beauty inspired room with stacks of these you know like how everyone in the world bought alex drawers like five six seven years ago because of youtube me i've literally got them in my cupboard because i've had them for so long this 
is the vibe. Honestly, I really hope that I can find a home for these and I definitely want to go back and get more if they are handy because I just feel like they will be to just chuck my makeup in, especially my everyday makeup that I use day in, day out. And this was £10, which, pretty good. Okay, I've got two more items from Primark. I've got a pair of heels because apparently Primark heels are my favourite. They actually are. I've got a black pair that's strappy. I'll see if I can find a photo. I'll definitely be able to find a photo because they're all I wear. They are the comfiest heels ever. And they've ended up being my most worn shoes by far ever. And they're literally just Primark, which is such a steal. These were £10. And I really liked that these were like that Bottega kind of green. I absolutely love these. And they're very comfy. They've got a nice thick heel. And I always wear heels like this, especially like running into London for events because they're comfy, they're dressy, they go with jeans. You can dress them up, dress them down. And they had these in a lot of colours. I was torn between getting the bubblegum pink ones as well. But I was like, no, you actually don't wear pink that much. Stop it, calm down. So I only let myself get that pink lip. But I really, really like these. And Primark heels, if you don't own any, please trust me. I don't care if you're bougie. We can all be bad and bougie with a pair of Primark heels. And then finally, my last item is this blazer, which, do I need another blazer? Absolutely not. But I quite like the colours in this. I put it on and I expected my nan, because I was with my nan in Primark, I expected her to be like, not another blazer, put it back. She was like, I actually really like the blue. We felt like it was giving a little bit spring vibes, even though it's kind of like browns and bit autumnal it's got transitional colors to it because it's got blue in it well that was the kind of pep talk we gave ourselves i really liked it it's giving me Hailey bieber vibes i was thinking with some nice trousers a little bandeau ideally i would have liked this in a size 16 but they only had a size 14 or a size 18 so i went for the 14 i would like it a little bit bigger i think however i tried it on with a jumper like i said you'll see the video Hopefully I like it, but if not, I can always return it. This was £23, which for Primark sounds a little bit pricey, but it's a blazer. Blazers can be pricey. I feel like blazers from Zara are like £50 up, so pretty good. Next up, I got three things from Space and K. I literally do not let myself buy beauty products, makeup, anything like that, because I'm really grateful I get sent so much. But I've recently fallen in love with Kate Somerville products. I got um, one of the cleansers recently. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head, but I'll link it down below. And then I left it in London and I was so annoyed. I put it as my story and they saw it and they sent me a new one. And then everyone told me if I liked that cleanser that I needed to try the goat milk cleanser. So I did a little order on Space and Care. I think I had like 20% off on one of my emails. So I was like, I'm going to make the most of it. Not tried this yet, but I'll keep you posted on my stories on Instagram. So follow me over there if you want an update. But I'm very excited to try that. And then I always hear so much about The Ordinary. I've never tried anything from The Ordinary. But I went on Space NK's bestsellers and this was on there. This is the AHA 30% peeling solution. And that sounds kind of scary. But I will give it a go. I'll look into it first. But it's a 10 minute exfoliating facial and I've been having a few breakouts recently so I'm hoping this does me good but let me know if you recommend this or if I should maybe stay away. This was so cheap it was like £5. And then I got this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder which I have had on my face before by makeup artists and I've just never had the powder myself. I don't know why I've got all the bronzers and blushes and stuff just not the powder so I thought I'd get myself one of them I got that in the shade too and I'm excited to try that and I feel like this will be a nice powder to take out and about instead of taking a loose powder and having a mess everywhere right next up I'm gonna quickly talk about Zara home I literally got one thing and I'm gonna insert a picture or maybe a video clip I got a rug for my bedroom and I'm really really happy with it it took a while to get under the bed because I've got an ottoman bed which stores a lot of stuff and it was very heavy but we got it under i've been waiting to get a rug for a really long time if you follow me on my home account you'll know i always bang on about how i haven't found the perfect rug and i took weeks picking i don't know why 
I was on Wayfair, I was on so many websites, and then I always end up going back to Zara Home, I don't know why I doubted it, but I now have two rugs in my home from Zara Home, you can't go wrong, and I love it. So I thought I'd mention that because I literally bought that about four or five days ago and it's already down, it looks amazing. I feel like it just finishes my room off perfectly. Okay, then finally, I have some bits from Urban Outfitters. I haven't shopped on Urban Outfitters in so long, but I wanted to get some camo pants. I used to have a pair like this for years. I'm so annoyed that I threw them away because I feel like they've come back round. They're like cargo style pants. And I typed it on Google and Urban Outfitters come up and then I thought, I have this thing, I can't really justify shipping. I don't know what it is with me. <laughs> Literally don't know what it is. But if I'm buying something to justify like the 3 dollars shipping, I have to buy more than one thing. So I thought I'd have a little shop on there. So I picked up these. I'm very, very excited to wear these. I just think they're so cool with like a black little cami in the summer, like transitional into spring. I can't wait to wear these. These are very cool. These are definitely like, on trend at the moment i'm sure of it i've seen it in a lot of trend videos coming up soon so got some cargos they were 55 pound and i got them in a size medium i did actually chuck these on the other day and they felt a little bit big but i think i'm gonna stick with medium because i'd rather that whole like baggy slouchy look don't know if you've heard it but apparently the color of 2022 if you've not heard it you've heard it here first is gonna be orange i love orange i've always loved orange and i saw this cute little crop top which has a red design going up and this was £22. I really hope this fits. I've not tried this on. I feel like this will even go with the cargo army pants. This is so cute. Absolutely love this. I was definitely in an orange mood. I got this little orange kind of corset. This was £36. And I liked how structured this was. It's like a bra. And I think I plan to wear this in America. I can't even remember. But I need to start ordering things for my trip. So that is one of the first things. Again, I hope this fits. I always struggle to fit in things like this, but I absolutely love this. So fingers crossed. And then that is everything. So there's my random haul. I hope that you guys enjoy it. I'll try and link everything in the description box. I can hear Cass out there. He wants me to hurry up because we're going to the gym together tonight. So I'm going to go. But thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry, this video was quite quick, but I hope that you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.